In this demonstration, I am going to measure the sensitivity of the receiver section of my IC706 using a signal generator and a series of switched attenuators. The receiver sensitivity is measured by connecting a meter across the audio output of the receiver. The volume control of the receiver is then adjusted for some reading on the meter. An RF signal is then fed into the front end of the receiver and the output level of the RF signal is adjusted until there is a 10 dB increase on the meter reading. The sensitivity of the receiver is that RF signal level in microvolts which cause that 10 dB signal to noise ratio. That is how the sensitivity of the receiver is defined. In this demonstration I'm going to use a leader signal generator set at an output level of minus 10 dBm. The output of the signal generator feeds a 20 dB fixed attenuator. There it is there and the 20 dB attenuator then feeds a Hewlett Packard uh, switched attenuator which is down here which I have set at minus 50 dB. I also have two more attenuators one which switches in 1 dB steps and one which switches in 10 dB steps. For the, for the IC706 we are looking for a signal level around the minus 120 to minus 130 dBm. The specification is 0.16 of a microvolt, which is minus 123 dBm. In order to measure that level, I require 100, around 120 dB of attenuation, which is what I've set up here. Across the output of the receiver, I've connected the RF PM1 power meter, which I'm going to use to measure the 10 dB increase when the signal generator is fed into the receiver. In addition to that, I've also connected a audio mixer across the audio output which has a, a, a VU meter on it calibrated in dB. The reason for the two types of meters across the audio output of the receiver is that the RF PM1 is an RF power meter with an AD8307 chip in it. The 8307 chip responds to sinusoidal signals but here we are feeding it with noise out of the receiver audio uh, band limited noise. These measurements are usually made with a an audio VU type dB meter. So I just want to compare the two instruments to see if they match or not. Though the RF PM1 is designed to work down to 5 kHz, it still gives a reasonable response down below 5 kHz, as low as 1 or 2 kHz. The output, the output of the receiver feeds the RF PM1 and the uh, audio mixer with a VU meter through a small utility amplifier which is connected to the output of the IC706. The utility amplifier allows me to adjust the levels without, uh, without having unnecessarily high audio output out of the receiver speaker. I have set the signal generator at around 7.1 MHz and here you can see on the IC706 we're tuned to 7.099. Now I don't have a signal going into the IC706 so I'm just measuring noise at the moment. I'm reading minus 20 dBm on the RF power meter and minus 10 dB on the audio level meter. I'm now going to connect the signal generator to the receiver front end through the series of attenuators and adjust the attenuators until I get a reading of minus 10 dBm on my RF power meter and 0 VU on my audio mixer. In other words, from minus 10 to 0, which is a 10 dB increase on both meters. I've adjusted the tuning of the receiver so that I get maximum output just to make sure that the RF signal generator is in the passband of the receiver and I've adjusted the attenuators for a reading of minus 10 dBm on my RF power meter and around 0 VU on my audio meter. So there is a close up of the VU meter so you have a better look at that. And as I said minus uh, 10 on the um, on the RF PM1. There we go, into focus. So I've increased the signal, uh, signal level into the receiver by 10 dB. The amount of attenuation I had to introduce into the signal to get that reading was 3 dB from the 1 dB step attenuator and 40 dB from the 10 dB step attenuator. The other attenuators are minus 50 dB for the switched HP attenuator I've set that at minus 50 and I also have a 20 dB attenuator between the generator and the HP here it is there 
So the signal entering the receiver is minus 123 dBm, made up of minus 10 dBm from the signal generator, 70 dB of fixed attenuation and 43 dB of switched attenuation. Referring to a uh, chart I have here, minus 123 dBm is 0.159 of a microvolt. This is the, uh, the dB to microvolt conversion chart. Looking at the IC706 specification for uh, sensitivity in the HF range, it's 0.16 of a microvolt for 10 dB signal to noise. Now the mode I'm using is SSB and the frequency as I mentioned before is 7.1 megahertz. The AGC is switched to fast although I would have liked to have preferred to have been able to switch it off but I can't seem to do that on the IC706. So here I put my measurements on a spreadsheet frequency 7.1 oscillator output minus 10 dBm single sideband receiver preamp on which is the maximum sensitivity the receiver attenuator switched off Fixed attenuation was minus 70 dB, variable attenuation was minus 43 dB, and the total signal entering the receiver was minus 123 dBm, or 0.15 of a, nine, uh, of a microvolt, which is very close to the specification. I also conducted the tests with the receiver uh, preamplifier switched off, and I found the sensitivity fell to 0.71 of a microvolt, and I also conducted it with the um, RF attenuator on the IC706 also switched into circuit and the preamp off and found that the sensitivity fell to 6.33 of a microvolt. In other words, about 19 dB worse off from um, with the pre uh, preamp off. And with the preamp on there was an improvement of around 13 dB. Uh, you will need to take note of one thing. I've used a fixed attenuator between the signal generator and the switched attenuators. Now the signal generator, the leader, I'm not too sure if its output impedance is 50 ohms. So what I've done, I've fed it into a 20 dB attenuator which is 50 ohms in and out. And when I took the measurement of the signal level, I took it at the output of the attenuator. These attenuators are only accurate if the source impedance and the load impedance is 50 ohms. So I'm not sure what the signal generator output impedance is. So although I've nominally stated that it's minus 10 dBm output, what I've actually done is fed it into the attenuator and then used my RF PM1 power meter to measure the signal at the output of the 20 dB attenuator. I adjusted the signal generator so that I got a total, so that my output signal at that point was minus 30 dBm. So the 20 dB attenuator actually buffers the oscillator output to take care of any uh, slight uh, impedance mismatches. In a similar way you also have to be mindful that the last attenuator fed in the receiver should also see 50 ohms. Fortunately the IC706 input impedance is close to 50 ohms so that that was not a problem. One thing to note is that the meter on the output of the receiver when it's measuring just noise may for example read minus 20. Now as you input a RF signal for example just 1 or 2 dB above the noise and you adjust your attenuators the 2 or 3 dB attenuators you'll find that if for example you switch 3 dB in the meter won't drop by 3 dB it'll only drop down to the noise level you had without a signal. So it may appear that the attenuator instead of giving 3 dB only gives for example 1 dB of attenuation. Uh, this effect can sometimes fool people. Of course it gets better and better as you get uh, more and more above the noise and, and that's probably one of the reasons the sensitivity is measured as 10 dB above the noise rather than right near the noise threshold. So with the aid of an RF PM1 or reasonably accurate RF power meter you can make receiver sensitivity measurements uh, using a, a reasonably low cost signal generator. Most of these low cost signal generators do not have a, an output meter nor is the output uh, very well defined. So feeding them into some accurate attenuators and also using the RF power meter to measure the actual signal coming out of the generator or out of the attenuators enables you to make some reasonably accurate sensitivity measurements. 
And as you can see, you can also connect the RF PM1 power meter to the audio output of the receiver and use it as an indicator for when you reach the 10 dB signal to noise uh, ratio. If you think your receiver is a little bit deaf or something's not quite right, a test like this is quite useful for establishing uh, whether or not there is a fault or a problem with your receiver. So a, a reasonably low cost signal generator rather than a, an expensive laboratory instrument plus a series of um, not too expensive switched attenuators and some fixed attenuators will enable you to do these measurements on your equipment. I'm just repeating the test using a uh, older style multimeter with a dB scale on it. I've set the receiver output for 0 dB on the multimeter and it's around minus 10 dBm on the RF power meter. So there it is there. I've now switched on the RF signal generator and I'm putting a signal of minus 123 dBm into the receiver. The analog meter has gone up 10 dB from 0 to plus 10 and the digital power meter has gone from minus 10 to 0. The two readings are 10 dB different as I am feeding the uh, multimeter from a different part of the amplifier circuit so I can get sufficient deflection. So you can use the older style analog multimeter with a dB scale to do your sensitivity measurements. One thing to note here is that the RF PM1 power meter is designed to be fed from a 50 ohm source. The RF probe has a 50 ohm terminating resistor in it. In this application we've connected the probe across an audio amplifier with a low output impedance. So the readings on the power meter are not really in dBm's. What we're doing here is we're comparing one level with another and we know that the difference is in so many dB. Similarly, uh, audio VU meters are designed to be fed from 600 ohm source and again we can only use the relative change in dB in this particular measurement.